Now this is a Ford Racing spark plug wire. And let's look at what's inside. Welcome back to the garage, the place where we're making your classic car your dream classic car. Now, if this is your first time here, I would love to have you subscribe. I'm putting out how-to videos for the weekend mechanic and just providing classic car tech for the classic car community. Now, today, what we're talking about is spark plug wires. Now, when I was a young lad, I used to think that like, a good spark plug wire would give you like extra horsepower. It's not true, okay? Uh, let's just be clear about this. The most expensive spark plug wire you can buy is not gonna give you any more horsepower than what your car can make. But a bad spark plug wire or uh, like an old faulty spark plug wire will decrease your horsepower, the horsepower that your car can make. So it's not that, you know, these can add any extra horsepower, but it is a thing where if you're feeling a little sluggish, then spark plugs and spark plug wires could be one of the causes. We're looking at what are the best spark plug wires for the classic Ford 302 engine. Now this is a Ford Racing spark plug wire. And let's look at what's inside. So spark plug wires are almost all constructed with very similar components, consisting of a center core, a conductive suppression layer, an insulator, and a fiberglass braid, and the outer silicone jacket. So you can kind of see with this wire, there is the center core surrounded by the conductive suppression layer. So I don't know if you can actually see this little wire sticking up. I started pulling on the conductive suppression layer, and you can actually kind of pull it off of that center core and this is spiral wound which we'll talk about later then you can see the insulation layer that light gray layer followed by the fiberglass braid sticking out right there then surrounded by the silicone outer layer so let's break it down the purpose of a spark plug wire is to get an energy pulse from point A to point B. And that energy, you want it to stay within the wire. You don't want it to seep out of the wire or affect the other wires around it. But also, you want a good uh, shielding so that other electronic pulses or other electronics around your engine don't then affect your spark plug wires and add energy pulses into the wire itself. So that's one way to look at a spark plug wire. The other way is how much of the energy is getting from point A to point B. What you're looking at is, is there any resistance in the wire itself keeping that energy from fully getting from point A to point B. Now, I'm way oversimplifying this. I'm, I'm breaking it down super simple for this video, but you want your spark plug wire to be able to shield anything that's coming in from the outside. You want it to be able to keep everything, all that energy inside the wire inside, and you want that energy to get from the fullest amount of energy to get from point A to point B. Now, why this is all so important is because your engine is precisely tuned. It's timed to a specific timing, and these spark plug wires are taking that energy and sending it to the spark plugs in their specific time. And you want a good spark plug wire that's not gonna allow anything around the engine or the other wires itself to affect that timing, giving you a misfire or decreasing your horsepower. But the inverse is also true. I just installed the Edelbrock ProFlow 4 and they want you to have a good enough wire that the energy inside the wire isn't gonna affect the ECU that is in the EFI. So, all that to say, 
what is the best spark plug wire for your Ford Bronco or your classic car? Now, when you search on Amazon, you're gonna see a couple numbers that are thrown around. One is the thickness of the wire. So these JDM speed wires claim to be 10 millimeters, 10.5 millimeters thick, while these are nine millimeters thick, and these are 10.5 as well. Uh, further down, you'll probably see some eight millimeter wires. There's an eight millimeter. So let me just say, thicker is not better. Don't buy a wire because it's thicker. So I actually have two wires here, and you can see that the white inside the one is that insulation that we talked about, and the gray is the Ford Racing wire. So the gray one has more insulation, so it's a thicker wire. But the silicone on the outside or the insulation inside isn't the thing that's shielding this wire from outside interference. And it's not the thing that's keeping that electronic pulse in the wire either. The shielding's coming from the suppression layer, which is right there. Inside the white layer, there's a black layer, and that is the suppression that is actually keeping that current in the wire and keeping outside current out. So you can see it's not necessarily wire thickness that makes a superior wire. Now this wire could potentially handle more heat. It could withstand higher under hood temperature uh, and a thicker silicone could possibly keep you from burning up a spark plug wire if it touches your headers or if it gets too close to your engine. So it's not a bad thing to have a thick wire, but it's definitely not gonna keep the current in more. The next thing you're gonna look at is wire design. Now solid core wires are more designed for an engine that doesn't require as much shielding, where a spiral wound wire is better for lower resistance. So these 10 and a half millimeter JDM speed racing spark plug wires, uh, let's see here, they are ultra low resistance Kevlar RFI suppression. Let's see, see more product details. Um, spiral wound design. So, uh, you know, there, that is a good sign, but most spark plug wires these days are going to be spiral, spiral wound design. Um, but that is something that you want to make sure that these spark plug wires are. The final thing you'll start to see when looking on Amazon is ohms o-h-m-s so we can look here this is the msd 5553 street fire spark plug wire set this is one of the ones that uh, i cut into but what i liked about these was you could make them your own length so you know i got a good length out of them this is helically wound conductor suppresses electro and radio noise kevlar core but here's the thing that you're looking at, 502 ohms per foot of resistance. Less resistance means more current is gonna pass through the wire. So that pulse is gonna get from point A to point B uh, with less resistance. So the lower the number here, the better, but to get less resistance, you have to pay a price. These are the wires that I'm currently running on my Bronco. You can see that I just bought them back in April. And these have 50 ohms per foot for superior spark. That is a superior spark right there at 50 ohms. They can guarantee that. So I highly recommend these spark plug wires. Again, there's a link in the description below, uh, but these are recommended by Edelbrock or they fit within the parameters that Edelbrock said was an acceptable wire. Uh, they're super low resistance. They're really, really great. I haven't had a problem with them. They're a little bit long for the small block Ford 302, but all in all, I've loved them. I've loved having them on there. Again, these are a little bit more expensive than just the $30 wire you could buy at like AutoZone or O'Reilly's, but I think it's worth it in making sure that the electronics under your engine bay aren't crossing signals and you aren't having those kinds of issues just because you bought a cheap spark plug wire. So hopefully that was helpful. Again, make sure to check the links below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.